What's going on everybody? It's the Green Plantain and we're back to playing Bloodborne. This is episode 14. In the last episode we uh, explored Yar Hargul. Um, and now we're gonna take on Yar Hargul's boss. But before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, get this uh, Henrix outfit. Um, and the reason we're doing that be is because uh, uh, Henrik's uh, garb or his set is very good against the uh, uh, thunder. Or, or, or I should say, a uh, uh, lightning defense. So let's go ahead and read that. Uh, what they gotta say? I'm sorry, bolt defense. Let's go ahead and read his his, his garb. Henrik's hunter garb. Hunter's attire worn by Henrik, the old hunter. The the taciturn old hunter Henrik was once partners with Father Gascoigne, and though they were a fierce and gallant duo, their partnership led to Henrik's tragic long life. Henrik's unique yellow garb is resistant to bolt and will be of great help to any hunter who has inherited the onus of the hunt. Uh, let's go ahead and change our outfit to Henrik's outfit. I actually like how it looks. It looks really cool. It's kind of like the Yarnum one, but uh, it's got its own little little flair to it. I don't know. It looks looks cool. I like this, like, I don't know, like a, a felt looking <laughs> texture. I, I don't know. It looks awesome. Are you her ghoul? Where you at? That's not it. Um, wait, actually, I think that's it. Hapagene Jail. Let's go there. All right, and here we are. Uh, let's go ahead and, and go downstairs. So we can kill this motherfucking boss. All right, so uh, I, I believe it's this way over here. Yes. Uh, be but before we do, I don't know. I think I explored everything. I feel like I did. Yeah, okay, that's our prison. Yeah, we're good. I don't know why I thought that this led me somewhere else. But this area right here has a nice little, like, cheesy jump scare. Watch this shit. Yeah, you saw that? That was a witch. And that's a trap, because right here, there's another witch. And she grabbed me, even though I knew she was there. Idiot. Let's go ahead and kill these bitches, man. Um, Get back. Come on. Come on, plantain. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Don't let these witches grab you, man. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do the crowd control thing. Get back. Get fucking back. Got him. That was a, that was a cheap kill. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, these guys right here get up. So we're gonna just get these items and run past them. Because we ain't got time to deal with these fools. Is there another item over here? I feel like there is. These guys wake up too. But we're just gonna run past them because uh, um, we're not trying to deal with that. Let's go. Woo! Nice. Uh, they won't follow us out here. All right. So this is where we um we can actually summon somebody right here to help us out. But I don't think that we need to do that. Um, if you take a look right here. See a nice little mound of hair. And that's actually the boss. The boss is just sleeping. Let's go ahead and make it make our axe long and let's take on this motherfucker. Maybe we can get it on the first try. Who knows? Hey, what it do, baby? That's Dark Beast Paro for y'all. The trick with this boss is you gotta stay close and under him. Oh! You ain't gonna kill me, man. Not today. That that right there we gotta be careful for. That's like it's reset, like if we're too close. Oh shit. Let's go ahead and heal. I think the trick is uh definitely not to uh uh auto aim because the auto aim the auto aim can be confusing. Hey, what's up though? Come here! Let me kill you! Don't run away! Got him! And that's about to power up again. Alright, here we go. Heal up. 
Oh! Fuck! I'm not gonna lie, uh, 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 I'm not talking, I'm just, I'm concentrating on the damn fight. And, uh, um, I am a little tipsy, so I'm trying not to die on my first... Ah! Uh, got some nice licks in there. Got him. You know it's good when 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 he he, he loses his uh, uh his bolt effect. All right, all right, come on, go for the legs. Oh no! I walked right into that one. Oh no! All right, we'll get him next time. Let's go ahead and pray to the great ones. Uh, maybe uh, their help will uh, uh, be the determining factor in killing this son of a bitch. Carl, I've come for that ass, baby. Give it to me. All right, so uh, he's moving all over the place. I'm gonna try my best to talk while I record. Uh, and of course, I get hit by that. Fuck you, bitch. Damn. You're so damn skinny and tall and lengthy and... Scares me. Alright, come on. Get out of there. Pull up. You ain't shit, bitch. Oh, fuck. You got me. That damn swipe is what terrifies me. And that attack also, that AoE is, is super, super dangerous. Oh, it. That leg. There we go. Yeah, we beat the shock out of him. Oh, fuck. Where he at? Come here, bitch. Fucking die. Got him! Got him! There's ah. one more hit like that. Well, not one more, but a few more. Ah. Maybe three. Ah! Shit! That pounce! Ah. To die! Oh, oh. Alright, Green Plenty. Come on, get out of there. Kill up! Got him in the face. And we're gonna turn our, our axe into fire, because I think that's what, that's what it's gonna take. Check him up. Oh, we got him! We got him! Woo! All right. Um, that uh, that took a lot longer than I thought, and I actually didn't even need the fire paper, so I'm just sitting there wasting it. It's fine. It's all good. We got to defeat Dark Beast Parl. So Dark Beast Parl doesn't drop a lot of uh. He doesn't drop a lot of lore, uh, besides this item here. Let's go ahead and check it out. Um, so the Spark Hunter badge, badge crafted in secret by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the healing church for his friends. Archibald was fascinated by the blue sparks that emanate from the hides of the dark beasts and dedicated his life to its artificial reproduction and a style of inquiry that incidentally closely followed the, metho <laughs> the methodology of Bergenworth. So... There's not a lot of lore uh, about Dark Beasts. Um, but what I get out of it, I think that the Dark Beasts are just ancient. And uh, they have to do a lot more with the... Uh, with the... Uh, uh, oh my god, I'm drawing a blank here. With the damn... <laughs> with the dungeons. Uh, let's go ahead and, get in, and go back to the Hunter's Dream. It's Chalice Dungeons. I remember now. Chalice Dungeons. <laughs> um, I did not mention this. Uh, it, okay, so... It took me a long time to defeat Dark Beast Parl, mostly because I forgot his moveset, but I did went and I did start of the Chalice Dungeons, I didn't record them, and I did upgrade my Hunter Axe all the way to level 5, and the Kirk Hammer, I'm going to level it up too, but I'm going to level up the Hunter Axe before, or I'm going to get it to level 6 before I begin uh, uh, getting the Kirk Hammer to 4. Um, I did get some awesome Blood Gems down there that give me uh, way more. Uh, 
give me way more uh, physical attack. And uh, uh, as you can see right here on the right, I can't point to you because I don't have a mouse. But uh, I got it up to like 7 and 13%. I don't know what that adds up to because I'm not a, a, a math major. Is that a thing? Can you be a math major? I, I, that, that, that's probably a thing. Um, let's go ahead and talk to our baby girl. What's up? Welcome. What is it? I want to level up. Could you level Very me up? Well. Let me stand close. Um, we're gonna go ahead and level up. Uh, we're gonna go with endurance. You can always use more stamina. Those levels are starting to cost more money. Oh, but now that we have that, uh, now that we have that blue badge, we have new items. So we have bolt paper and fire paper. We can buy that now, which is fucking awesome. That's gonna come in handy later. Um, but for now. I was gonna say we're just gonna bu buy, buy some blood echoes. Um, yeah, this is—I mean, blood echoes, blood vials, because we're gonna need them. And uh, the, where we're gonna go to next, uh, it's actually the cathedral ward. All right, and we made it. We're here at Cat All right, Cathedral Ward, home sweet home. Uh, we got our baby girl, Ariana, here. What's up, girl? And then um, we have a new member here. What's up? Oh, brave hunter. You're alive. Thank you very much. A church bell, the female form. The town is in disarray, but there are still people here. Together we await the help of the healing church. I cannot begin to express my gratitude to you. The only thing that I can offer is my own lonely blood. If it would suffice. So she can give us her blood. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take it. Oh, we can't take the blood because uh, uh, we have Ariana's blood. We have Yusefka's blood, and we have uh, uh, Ariana, Ariana's blood. Um, I would have to use Ariana's blood, and in this instance, uh, I actually, I feel like I read it already. I did read it. Damn, I don't wanna use it because, let's use this one. Maybe we can get her blood. Huh. Brave hunter. What is it? Have you renewed thoughts on this matter? I do. I want your blood. Oh, I need to use Ariana's blood. But okay, so she's very interesting because she's sitting here in the dark, right? Like you can't even see her like until we get we get up to her. And she's just hanging out by these ruins. That's actually pretty awesome place to sit in a church all right so if we if we talk to ariana oh hello her head sorry dear you're much too her late. head turns and faces us so you can see late. it in the distance and then the moment we're done talking she kind of looks away so that's gonna that that mean that's gonna mean something later in the game and, 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 and I mean, that's just the, the amount of detail that FromSoft puts into its games. Like, you wouldn't notice this unless you were looking out for it. Because the only way I found out about it was because uh, uh, I saw a video on it, about it online, and, uh, uh, and I was just like, damn, that's crazy. I'm rambling. Uh, so, <laughs> right now, uh, do I dare? We gotta take on a second boss, but you know what? We are just gonna make it to this little area right here and uh, in the next episode we're gonna take on another boss so uh, I know I was gonna say I was I, I know I just said I was gonna take on the boss right now but 
I don't think I have what it takes right now. I gotta do some practice runs and all that good stuff. Uh, so let's just go ahead and uh, fuck these guys up. What do you want, man? You want some of this? You can't handle that axe, huh? How about you, fucker? I'm about to get visceral attacked out of existence. Bitch. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm the Green Plantain. Thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next episode. Peace out.